Hello guys, how are all doing today? Well, today is a bittersweet video, so I'll show you the sweet part and uh, the bitter part. Well, I guess we'll start with the bitter part first. Unfortunately, um, one of my teas has passed away. If you notice that uh, my uh, tanks are spaced up now. Unfortunately, this one passed away and this was an old one. Uh, Sprigma Pius Tricolentis, the Lesser Goa Mustard that I just bought uh, a couple of months ago. I don't know what the cause of death was. Uh, here's the body. I would have suspect it's old age. Like, there's no sign of anything uh, conspicuous about the tea. So it's rather unfortunate to see her go, but people have asked me how to measure your tea, so uh, I guess what I'll show you how to do it. So when you're experienced as me, you probably could look at a specimen and you could just roughly guess how large it is. So I'm thinking right now without even measuring, I did mention that uh, she was six inches. So the way I measure teas is by the top tip of the first leg and tip of the last leg. So you put your ruler, you align it, and here's the six inch mark so she's pretty much close to six inches like maybe uh, 5.75 inches that's yeah, unfortunate and body length is the tip of the chloroceride to the tip of the abdomen so body length she was about uh, two and a half inches that's around five centimeters since no five centimeters which is two inches yeah one cent, one inch is about two and a half centimeters that's how you can tell or the other way you can do it is measure the le leg span uh, diagonally so diagonally let's see if I could just take one leg and put it the other way it's another way of measuring t-span Uh, yeah, that's about six inches, so my original guess was correct. <sighs> it's sad to see her go. Um, uh, she was very rare, and uh, that sucks. All right, so uh, people have asked me how to do watering video. I'll uh, show it next time, but it's really very simple. I have uploaded a video called a tarantula watering video uh, just look it up on my uh, YouTube uh, videos so basically what I do is uh, very simple I use this spritzer that you can get from uh, any hardware store that sells plants um, like Home Depot or, uh, and such or Walmart so what I do is around it depends on how many tarantulas I have uh, usually for me I fill this uh, spritzer around five or six times so what I do is I fill it up with warm water this one has the pumping action so you just uh, pump up and down to build your pressure and then you just spray like a spray gun oh. and you just water the tanks uh, usually it depends on how often I water them uh, depending on your conditions of the, your tea room if it's very hot, it's very likely that your humidities are going to drop fast. For me, I have to give water almost um, every three or four days just to water. The misting I do maybe once every two weeks, depending on the species. Like for the Green Bottle Blue and their G. rosea, it's very fortunate for me that uh, they really like dry habitats. So all I do is just keep the water dish full at all times. Uh, for specimens like uh, this uh, A. Brocklehursty, I just keep the uh, water uh, dish full. And I also miss the substrate, which I do most of them. Includes the pokies, uh, the, some of the brachypalmas, especially for species like P. antinus, uh, C. fasciatum. T. blondi is very important to keep the humidity. Oh, sorry, T. sturmy. <laughs> right, name change. You really got to uh, up the humidity for these species, very important. And Avix as well. Important to uh, keep a uh, very well ventilated enclosure and uh, so forth, yeah. 
And there's Mario. Awesome. So it's unfortunate to see her go. So um, hope uh, I won't get more bad luck than I've been having for the past week. Now it's starting to get a little cold, but uh, I guess what I can do is I can give you an update video of the Piru Falada now, now that she's out and about. Uh, this one is around, hang on. Here, take a look at her. She was, believe it or not, half an inch when I originally got her around two years ago. And she is likely to be seven and a half inches at least. So, again, we'll measure the T. From top leg to about, it's around six, maybe six plus. Yeah, I could believe that, barely seven. She's not really fully stretched, so uh, definitely around the six plus inch mark. That's a very beautiful P. Rufalata. And there's a big update video of her. Close up. <laughs> Beautiful roofie. So anyways, I'm going to go and put her in the freezer. This is originally what I do with uh, old specimen, rare and specimens like this. That uh, sucks. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video and uh, thanks for watching.